Hello and welcome to my cooking channel Czech Cookbook. Today we'll be making a dill sauce, which is super easy and it's pretty fast too. Uh, growing up, that was one of the meals that we really enjoyed, and uh, it's uh, there's no meat, so it was another one that we had pretty often because it was cheap to make. Uh, some people would pair it with uh, dumplings, but some people would do it with uh, potatoes. In my family, we would always do it with dumplings, but it's really up to you what you want to pair it with. Some people would say, oh, we do it only with potatoes. Oh no, it has to go with dumplings. So it's really up to you. Uh, I just, uh, in my family, we did it with dumplings. So that's what we will do. We'll eat it with dumplings and we will eat it with hard-boiled egg. And just in case you don't know how to hard-boiled eggs, I'll show you how. Or some people would also eat it with the cooked uh, meat. So let's start with the recipe. Uh, you will need a fresh dill. Uh, sometimes uh, what's, what works really well, you get fresh dill, you chop it up and you put it in a closed container in a freezer and then as you need it during winter when maybe it's not as, as, as accessible to have, then you just get it out of the freezer and you scoop it up and it works great. It frees very well, but it has to be closed container. So here I have fresh dill, and I have it chopped up, and it's about one third of a cup. But let me show you. It comes packaged like this. So you need to get rid of this long stem. So all you need is just this. I don't know leaves. I don't think it's leaves. But you just get a little bit. You rip it off. You rip it off from the stem and then you just chop it up on smaller smaller pieces. Uh, this I used about 12 of these just to give you idea how much is one third of a cup. And it's already already chopped it up and the rest I'll put in a freezer. I chop it up and put it in a freezer. Don't put it like this in a freezer because it's, it's not good because the air gets in there. You need to have it in a closed container. Uh, one third of a cup of fresh dill. Uh, some people would also use canned dill, like in a jar, which would be already pickled. Uh, but this recipe is using fresh dill. Um, but if you have pickled dill, you can use it too. You just have to then work with the vinegar a little bit because it will be pickled in vinegar. Then we need one fourth of a cup of oil, one third of a cup of flour, four and a half cups of milk, and there is a different recipe. Some people would use a beef broth with milk, but as it's a, that's just how we do it in my family. We use only milk. Then we need one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of vinegar. This is a white vinegar. And because we buy it in a big containers, I put it in a small glass. So let's start with the recipe. And I cannot wait to have this because it's so good. As a first step, let's put the one fourth of a cup of oil into a pot and turn on the stove. Now we add one third of a cup of flour. Let's stir this together. I ran out of olive oil, otherwise I would use it. But you can use olive oil, you can use any other oil, and you can even use butter, but we always used oil for this. Now I'll lower the flame because we don't want to have it too dark. Just have it all combined together nicely and all bubbly okay now it's perfect so let's add four and a half cups of milk and keep stirring so we don't create clumps and I still have half a cup so all together four and a half Now you want to keep stirring really well and go all the way to the bottom of the pot a little harder 
so it does not have a chance to burn. You can raise the flame. And now we'll wait till it all thickens up. But we can also add already our salt and sugar. So we will add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar. And let's keep stirring now. As you see, it's nice and smooth. And we need to bring it to boil because that will thicken up our sauce. After 10 minutes, it's finally starting to boil. And as you see, it nicely thickened up. So I want to lower the flame. And as I scrape the bottom, you can see that my wooden spoon has it uh, on the on it. Then that's from all the scraping, but that's okay. So now we'll be adding our dill. And we don't want to cook it too long because the dill has lots of vitamins and it would also lose the color. And we like it nice and green. Oh, it smells so good. And you just want to have it thickened up. Keep stirring for another minute or two. Just so we have a, so the sauce has a chance to thicken up all the way. And another tip, if you, if you cook it a day ahead, the next day it will thicken up even more. So you might need to thin it with a little bit of milk. After about two minutes, it's uh, good to go. So let's turn it off. And the last thing we'll be adding is a vinegar. But if you add it right now, it will not be good because the milk will react and it will curd up. It will create curds. And that's not what we want it. So we will wait a little more till it cools off a little bit. So I keep stirring just a little. And the bottom might be a little bit burnt or a little bit brown. So if you want, you can pour it in another pot, but I don't, I don't mind. I think it's looking good because I kept stirring really well. Here I have one teaspoon of vinegar, and you want to pour it slow, kind of like in a different places, just to be make, just to be sure that it won't curl up on one spot or something. And if you like it more sweeter or more vinegary, you can add more vinegar or more sugar. It's up to you. But I just did one teaspoon of each and it's tasty. But maybe you are used to from home to have it sweeter, so just add a little more sugar. This looks good. Oh, and now we can eat and enjoy this yummy goodness. Actually, before we start eating, we need some eggs. So I will show you now how to hard boil some eggs, just in case you don't, you don't know how. Let me show you how we will hard boil some eggs. Uh, so calculate how many eggs you want. Uh, I put them in the cold water. Let's just start it on, leave it on high, and let's bring it to boil. So our eggs just started to boil. Let's lower the flame so they have a gentle boil and set up the timer for five minutes. Five minutes is enough for them to be hard boiled. Five minutes is up, let's turn it off and we will get the water out. Let's get cold water and rinse the hot one out and make sure it's cold. And now let's fill up the pot and we will let it rest in the cold water till they're, they're cool, cooled off. So now they are cold to touch, they're not hot I mean, and let's peel these. This is how I peel it, crack it from all the sides and just peel it. And that's it, that's how we cook our hard boiled eggs. Now I'm done, we can do some taste testing. Uh, I put a little bit of salt on my egg and I cannot wait to just dig into this because it's so good. Mm. Wow. <laughs> the combination of the dumpling, the sauce is so creamy and you can taste the dill, so good. 
and the egg. It just works this combination. So I hope you enjoy it. I go enjoy myself now to eat at the table. <laughs> Bye.